I really wanted to argue two things. One is that um, for many years, sociologists, lawyers, philosophers have recognized that the criminal justice system has effects, beneficial effects, on socialization, on society, um, other than through the effect, through um, the threat of immediate punishment. But those effects, those beneficial effects, can be undermined by social injustice. So part of my argument was that given that we punish too much, given that we criminalize too much, we're devaluing the currency of criminal justice. And precisely because we're devaluing the currency of criminal justice, those beneficial effects are less likely to occur. Second, I wanted to argue that the project of doing social justice is a long-term project. And in the meantime, we're going to have to have a system of punishment, and we're going to have to implement that system of punishment. And a lot of the people who fall under that will be precisely the kinds of people we're trying to help in the social justice project. The question then, and it'll require imagination to answer it, is how do we punish in a systematic way when there's injustice in a way that doesn't contribute to the transmission of that injustice over generations?